Good evening, Daniel Gillespie here with the Clarity Crew with your five at five. Well, it may not be a five at five. This week's been a heavy week for humanity. From the heights of accomplishment to the depths of depravity, both have been on display. We had scheduled today, it was just delayed a few minutes ago, uh, the launch of the shuttle to take men and women into space. And yet in the same week, we've had events that have shown just how depraved mankind can be. And if we look at those two events, I'm tempted to come to the question, and I think you probably are, what's the point? What's the point of all of this? Is there? And it draws me to the book of Ecclesiastes, where the preacher asked the same question. He really looked at the height of human achievement and the depth of human depravity. And he asks, hey, what's the point? What's the point of building bigger buildings? Or if you want to put it in our vernacular, in our culture, what's the point of putting a man or woman on the moon? And what's the point of evil and wickedness if we're all random and this is all chance? What does it matter if you're good to your neighbor or not? Well, at the end of Ecclesiastes, the preacher came to a summary. And he said, if we're living merely under the sun, then there is no point. Be clear, if we're living in a worldview that says we are just chance, that that's all there is, then there is no point. There is no impetus for being good to your neighbor. There is no ultimate accolade for achievement. It's all vanity. It's all striving after the wind. But, here's where Ecclesiastes is so profound. If we understand that we know or not chance, we were created and live under the hand of God and we fear him and live unto him, then not only are our achievements purposeful and they bring us pleasure and they glorify God as we use what we've been given for his honor. And um, so at that point, then even the smallest of achievements and the smallest of pleasures a good meal, a good friendship, a hard day's work. Those bring him glory and us satisfaction. And it also, when we fear God and live under his understanding, his reign, we understand that every injustice, every evil, and every wickedness will be dealt with. That it's not random, that it's not outside of his understanding, and that every just injustice will be dealt with. Thankfully, even my injustices will be dealt with. Thankfully, God has promised that every evil act and wicked thought will be dealt with, including mine, but he has promised that in Christ, he offers for wicked sinners to have their justice dealt with in Christ. So this week has been a heavy week as I think about my own injustice, my own sin, when I think about the consequences and damage of sin and, and depravity, when I think about families that are mourning right now and, and, the, and the welling up of a cry for justice and a, and a longing to see things be made right. One other promise that I'm comforted with in the scriptures is that in the end of all things, everything will be made right. Not only is there a purpose to what we do now, and there's a promise that justice will be met and that injustice will be handled, there's also a promise that there is a life, an eternal life, in which there'll be only accomplishments, no disappointments, only achievements, no frustrations. Friends, I want to encourage you, as the preacher of Ecclesiastes encouraged us, fear God and keep his commandments. Put your trust in Christ alone and live for his glory, and every injustice will be made right, and one day all things will be good. Daniel Gillespie for the Clarity Crew.